Lauren Shankland could be staying at Hearts as he eyes up a juicy new contract at the end of the season, but the same cannot be said for Fabio Silva, who will leave Rangers and return to his parent club, Wolverhampton Wanderers. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Football for some transfer news. Not a lot happening at the moment in the world of Scottish football. It's been pretty quiet, especially over the weekend there from an old firm standpoint not much changed both Rangers and Celtic sneaked over the line both won by two goals to one the three points remained the goal difference stayed the same so yeah it, it was just a weekend where nothing really changed the only thing that changed was Celtic got closer to the title because there's now less games to go but we do have some transfer news some contract news today and Lauren Shankland has said he expects conversations will need to be had at the end of the season regarding his heart's future. Now, Shankland came into this season with two years left on his deal. I think it was poor for hearts to allow it to run down this low. And now he wants a new deal or he might potentially be off. Now, there was speculation he could leave in January. Thankfully, from a heart's perspective, he didn't leave, he stayed. But we're at a point now where when summer comes around, there will be 12 months remaining. And if Hearts do decide to sell him in the summer, will they get the amount of money for him that he's worth? And the answer to that is probably not. And if they don't sell him in the summer, there's a very good chance that he will leave on a free by the time January comes. So Hearts have got a big decision to make. If they can't get Shankland... If, if they can't get Shankland to sign a new contract, then it might actually be best for them to try and cash in for whatever they can. Now, yes, Hearts are in European football next season. You would want to go into that Europa League or Europa Conference League campaign with Shankland in your team. There's no doubt about that. He could be the difference maker between Hearts getting out the group stage and not getting out the group stage. But still, for the... For the sake of one season, would you want to lose out on three, four, five million pounds or whatever you can get for Shankland? Probably not. Now, he has been scoring goals for fun. I'm sure that if Hearts do offer him a new contract, they will probably have to make him the highest paid player ever at Hearts. That's how it's looking right now. He's 28. His next contract could be his last big contract. Does he want it to be at Hearts? I'm not too sure, but he was speaking about the contract situation and he said, quote, We had a conversation and it all decided we would reassess it in the summer. Conversations will probably be had in the summer. I am going into my last year of my contract at heart and there's always speculation kicking around at those times. So there will come a time when conversations will need to be had, but for now, everything's still running smoothly. It's just noise. I just solely focused on my football. Speculation is a sign you're doing well at your club. That was Shanklin speaking about potential Rangers interest in January. Uh, then he went on to speak about possibly being at the Euros. And he says, quote, it's on the horizon, so it's hard not to think about it. But you just need to concentrate on your club football and keeping your form up. It gives you that wee added bonus that you've got something to aim for at the end of the season. End of quote. Which he does. So he's talking about potential contract. They're going to look at it in the summer. He kept his head down when Rangers came calling. And now he's focusing on obviously helping Hearts to have as much success as they can towards the end of the season. Win as many games. And then he's got the Euros to take care of with Scotland. So with the Euros coming up, I can't imagine Shankland wants to have these contract negotiations. I think Shankland would much rather go to the Euros, play for Scotland and not have to concern himself about where he will be playing his club football next season. And also the Euros could play a massive part if he doesn't sign a contract before the Euros. And I can't imagine he will. It would make no sense for him to do that. So I'm assuming he's going to have these contract negotiations after the Euros. If he has a good tournament, then the chances of him staying at Hearts, in my opinion, are next to nothing. Because clubs will come in. And if, even if clubs don't come in, he's going to be demanding probably too much money that Hearts will be willing to pay. That's if he does go on, have a successful tournament, if he scores a bunch of goals, if he is the difference maker between Scotland getting out of their group and not. So, yeah, 
He's got one year left come the end of the season. But depending on how the season finishes and how he does in the Euros, it might be out of Hearts' hands. Hearts might have no option but to sell him in the summer or just let him play next season and run his contract down. Because like I said, if he has a great performance and he scores a lot of goals and he's a difference maker, then uh, Hearts might not be able to offer him a contract that he'd be willing to accept. So yeah, Hearts, have, I think they've only got themselves to blame. I believe they should have... They, sh they should have got this contract sorted. I, I would have personally have done it in January. I, I know that he was looking at potential moves. There was clubs coming in. It didn't happen. They should have done it in February. They should have nailed him down to a contract in February. But they've let it run down to the summer. And it's not very ambitious. You talk about trying to get closer to the old firm. You talk about trying to make a dent in Europe. Well, I think one way of doing that would be you know, nailing your best player down for multiple years, and they haven't done that. So, uh, to me, this is a mistake for Hearts. They should have did a better job. They should have tried harder to get Shankland to agree a contract before we get to the end of the season, before we get to the Euros. But it's done now. All that can happen is Shankland goes to the Euros, and, and we'll see then. From a Hearts perspective, you're almost hoping that he has a bad Euros so that it doesn't, you know, affect the contract demands. But at the same time, if he has a really good Euros and Hearts do want to cash it before we get into next season, then you'll probably get more money. So it, it, it could work both ways. As for Fabio Silva, reports are coming out in Portugal that he will not be at Rangers next season. He will be returning to Wolves. Not surprised here. Wolves obviously paid a shitload of money for this guy. I believe they want, reportedly, £15 million for Fabio Silva. There's no way Rangers are going to pay that. I mean, maybe if he was lighting up the league, maybe if he was the best player at Rangers by far, if he was the best player in the league, you could look at a possibility of Rangers perhaps trying to get somewhere close to 14 million, but he's been average at best, you know, and he's a cheating, diving cunt as well, so the Rangers really want to pay 14 million for this guy. Um, no, not for me. I believe he's got one more year left at the end of the season with his Wolves contract as well, so... He's in a similar situation to Shankland, apart from the fact that he's shite and everybody wants Shankland and nobody really wants Fabio Silva. So, yeah, it looks like he will go back to Wolves, but I can't imagine that he will feature there. Uh, I'm assuming either he will be sold next season for Wolves or he will go out and loan again. I think that's the two options for Fabio Silva. Could he get another loan move to Rangers? I mean, it's possible... But I just don't think it's going to happen. He's not really impressed. I think Rangers would be better off putting those wages into a different player. So that's pretty much it when it comes to the transfer news. Shankland right now could stay at Hearts, could stay in Scotland, could leave Scotland, could end up doing anything. It all depends on the contract negotiations. And Fabio Silva will be leaving Rangers. And he will go back to Wolves for the meantime. But I don't think he's going to be there next season either. So I imagine that... Maybe he'll get moved to Portugal or something like that. Or, I don't know, maybe he can fucking dive into the, the water, dive into the ocean and swim his way back because that seems to be what he's good at these days. Anyway, that's it, guys. Uh, let us know your thoughts down below. Will Shanklin be a Hearts player next season? I'm hoping so, but I don't know. I, I don't think... The odds aren't good. You know, if, if, he plays well, if he plays well in the Euros, clubs will come in. If he plays well in the Euros, his contract is going to be too high. We ain't going to be able to afford to keep him. I don't know, It's um, I think the best thing for Hearts is he has an absolute shiter at the Euros, then maybe nobody will be interested and Hearts can you know manage to afford a contract that he's willing to accept. That's probably the best chance that they have. That's it guys, catch you in the next one. Till then, peace.